Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I'm recording kind of the old-fashioned way, the way I used to record, which is um, with my phone. And I'm doing this because there's uh, some issues with the screen capture and with the what you're seeing in the background right now. So this is Windows 10. I was inspired by the Windows 11 builds that have been released recently, and I thought, uh, well, we can do some pretty cool stuff already, so I want to go into this. This is my desktop. Uh, so let's see if I can do certain things. Yeah, there's right click. And then over here, I have the side mode from Tablet Pro, and I've kind of themed it along with this. You can change the colors of these. You can make this dark mode if you'd like. This is super cool. I'm using a program called Lively Wallpapers and Rain Meter. So this is the, uh, I can put these links down there. Okay, so I'm gonna bring up the taskbar and we're going to go into rain meter. And this is small clean weather. And then there's Nenalux slash player, which is this audio down here. And let's see, player, player.ini. Okay, I can put more information about these if you would like. This up here is the small, uh, what is it called? Small clean weather. And I have that set to high low and settings right here. And again, like I said, this is super cool. I love this really, really, really quick. This is called lively wallpapers and we're going to customize. You can choose Audio visualizer, which just goes crazy. It's, it's too much for me, but random, you can change the resolution, which is, and this is beautiful. Let's go ahead and hide that. Just gorgeous. Here's a trackpad. Um, I have a couple different gestures set up using gesture sign. And then I have Keypress OSD up here. There's a whole lot going on here. Keypress OSD does the keyboard shortcuts at the top and it does text expansion. Um, let's bring up the little side mode. So up here, this is text expansion. So this will open up and I can really quickly input a new text expansion snippet. Um, right here, this one right here is my uh, recording on and off for OBS Studio. This is the media player, play pause. This is a transparency, uh, copy, paste, screen snip, or screen grab. This is switch to, let's go ahead and, all right, so this is uh, opening up my, uh, like the task viewer or the windows, I forget what this is called. So here I can open up a another program and this switches to uh, the tools for that program. This is Rebel 4 and, you know, just all sorts of different controls for navigating here. This is the artist pad from Tablet Pro. So let's go back here and I have delete. Oh, how cool is that? Reminds me of jellyfish. Pew, pew. All right, let's bring the side mode back. Okay, so this is delete. This is uh, control, uh, what is this? Shift, I think. This is control A, so select all. Trackpad, this is Cortana, so I can do text to speech. These are fantastic for all sorts of different things. Like if you just need to use a keyboard, touch keyboard, or if you need the full keyboard, this is the on-screen OSK. This is enter, because sometimes you need an enter key if you're inputting in a field. This is undo, or undo, redo, and this is right click. So I thought this was really cool, um, really great way to use Windows. Uh, I'm using gesture sign, so that is right here. Control panel, and I can put all this stuff uh, on a link on the tabletpro.com website. Um, maybe I'll name it something silly like Windows 11. But here's my default sets here, taskbar. 
Uh, these keyboard shortcuts are triggered by the pen tool, so there's a lot um, here. This is a transparency. Let's see if that will work. I think I need a different type of window. This uh, will turn the foremost window transparent. Okay, so I have start, four finger tap, taskbar, um, show and hide, copy, decrease volume, float mode. So um, let's go here. Float, send, uh, these hotkeys, these are Tablet Pro, off and on. Oh. Oops. That's play and pause as well. And then the web browser is there, save. A couple other different ones. Anyway, I have this saved somewhere so you guys can use that if you want. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Super cool. This is the float mode from Tablet Pro. I love this because it, it really makes using uh, Windows 10 uh, really, really usable in tablet mode. So uh, let me show you. Let's make this transparent. Let's see. Wind shift backslash. You can see it go through. It's a Totoro picture I did recently. Uh, one of my favorite shows or movies this one right here this can be found let me show you one of the other settings here you can do lively we'll go to open lively i have this one here which is just that same drawing that i did before but it's it's just right on a window in front of it and i think that's pretty cool so there's there's a handful of other ones that you can choose that are are really neat but these are the ones. Uh, check that. This is in the Microsoft uh, Store app, so you can just look for it right here. And just search lively, and you should be able to find it. Um, Tablet Pro is there, and the Pen Tool are there, and you need both of those for this setup. So you would just type Tablet Pro up here. All right, you guys. Well, that is it for this video. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of questions about uh, what some of the settings are for some of these different programs, but I'll link to all of them. Take care, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.